Cheers, everybody. What's going on out there on YouTube land? Welcome to another episode of My Pathetic Life as a Homeowner, where I battle either maintenance or progress. And you know how the projects go. You're either fixing something or you're adding something and, you know, fixing something in the middle. So luckily, this is a progressive project, meaning that we're kind of taking on a little bit of an update of a 20-year-old kitchen without going over the board. Uh, I'm going to try to keep this video very straightforward. A kitchen upgrade can go a million different ways, but I'm going to be focusing on specifically on getting rid of this bar top, as you see right here. Um, we've been humming and hawing over putting a countertop in and we've made the call that we're going to cut this off and make the countertop essentially go straight right there. Get rid of the bar top, I think it'll open up the kitchen and uh, yeah, I think that is what's going to look good and these are the steps that I'm going to be going through. I don't even know if anybody's going to find this video entertaining or useful, half the videos I make, or I feel like they're never useful, but they get a, a lot of views sometimes. So, problem. I'm gonna have to cut this out. I already took the trim out here, so I kinda know what it's going on with this spot. Um, and then I'm gonna rip this off. Probably gonna have to cut this off right here, along there. And then I'm gonna have to deal with the electrical. I do have an electrical background, so I will be doing that. Um, and I'll be having somebody look at it after the fact. But if you don't have an electrical background, then you should probably hire somebody to do it. Uh, by the way, um, so the, the, granite, the granite fabricator, they actually quoted me on getting rid of this thing. If they were to do it, it would be $1,500 for them to do. I don't know how much this is gonna cost me, but at the end of the video, I'm gonna explain everything I had to purchase or not purchase or the tools I used or the tools I should have used, but I don't have the tools. Um, I'll go over that at the end of the video and then, uh, you guys can make your call whether you want to go down this direction if you ever have to. So anyways, let's start with that. Cheers. So I could probably do this the freaking easy way, which is come in with a freaking sledgehammer and uh, demo this whole thing. But I'm going to try to do it in a, a little bit of a layered way so I don't cause too much damage. And right now I'm just obviously cutting the, cutting the, um, the cock away from the uh, countertop, the bar top, because I'm going to lift it. All right, beer time. Cheers, everyone. All right, so. First off, if you're wondering what this is, this is called um, Corian countertops. Again, that's Corian. It's also referred to as solid surface countertops. Um, to be honest with you, it's kind of all right. It's like a m middle grounds of like not getting into real stone or natural stone and kind of a little bit better than like shitty laminate, but it's run its course in my opinion in time. And uh, I mean, I've looked at newer versions of it and uh, they get into the quartz, to be honest with you, I'll get into another video on countertops and what we went through because there's uh, quite a bit to it that meets the eye. But anyways, I'm getting rid of this shit. It's run its course, don't look good anymore and it's time to uh, upgrade the kitchen a little bit. So. All right, I kind of already peeled this off. It looks like it's glued down. I don't know how thick it is, but let's fucking, let's start peeling it away and see what happens. It looks like there's a seam there. I, it's, so the cool thing about this uh, Corian shit is the seams are absolutely invisible. I didn't realize it was a seam there until I started ripping it apart, but like the seams right here, I can't see them. They're absolutely invisible. So hopefully this takes off. And this is what it looks like underneath. So there's some board here. This stuff's about a half inch thick, it looks like. Um, and then they, I guess they glue it to this. So one piece off and it's fairly heavy. I don't know what to do with it just yet, but I'm gonna put it right here and I'm gonna keep going. I keep ripping. Uh, that, that came off pretty easy. Uh, that was pretty simple. I'm gonna put this here. What sucks about this project is it's gonna take a month. So here's the deal. I, I the the fabricator for the uh, for the um, quartzite. 
they won't measure the kitchen until this is off. So I'm taking this off, so then once I cut it off, they'll come in and measure the kitchen, and it takes another 20 days to uh, come in and install the countertops. So this is gonna look like shit for about a month, which is gonna suck, so we'll see how the, that turns out though. But anyways, all right, we're here. Next thing is, I got some screws here. I'm gonna start fucking ripping those out, and let's do that. That's fucking, she screams. God damn, that's loud. All right, all right, all right. This should be all loose now. I'm trying to think of what's the easiest way to take this apart. I'm gonna push it forward to balance it so it doesn't fall off. You know what? Fuck it. I'm gonna put it in the garage. Like this. Fuck, I gotta make room in the garage. And holy crap, I am literally left with <laughs> the worst fucking garbage I've ever seen. Look at this stuff. Look at this. This is like terrible, terrible hack job. There's just like a screw there that was holding the countertop on. And these two by fours the electrical boxes <laughs> the electrical boxes run into the 2x4 so they have to like cut the 2x4 terrible terrible job oh well, whatever it's coming out i'm gonna get the vacuum and clean some of this up so i don't have to fucking deal with a bit of mess so let me do that all right so i'm at a point where i'm gonna let me just start off by saying this what what is going on here was horrendous um, I don't even know if you can tell, but this is such a slope that they had to put these spacers in. Anyways, I got the spacers out. I'm at this point now. Um, I'm still kind of working in this level. I'm going to end up having to cut this drywall, obviously. Um, I did order a laser level. I don't need a laser level, but I ordered a laser level because I need one for another project. Um, so I'll do a quick review of the laser level while I'm at this. Uh, it's coming on from Amazon. I should get out tomorrow morning. Um, but in the meantime... I think I'm gonna try to pry all these two by fours up. It's gonna cause some damage to the drywall, which whatever, who fucking cares? Bit of a mess. Um, and then uh, I'm leaving the electrical as is. I have not turned off the power on the electrical yet. Uh, I, I probably should. And uh, if you're smart, you should probably do so yourself. But if you've seen any of my other videos, I tend to do hot swaps a lot too, just for entertainment value, uh, like a ceiling fan hot swap. Anyways, I'm leaving the electrical on right now. I'd recommend turning it off, but I'm just, I think I'm just going to get past this two by four point and I'm going to call it a fucking night. And then, um, yeah, let's go, uh, let's see what happens here. All right, so I do have a bit of um, a joint here, which is going to be obviously steel or uh, galvanized steel. I'm going to try to cut that out before I start ripping the two by four out. There we go. This is much better. Old school angle grinder is going to cause a fucking mess. Ah, uh, whatever. Boom. Two fucking seconds. Try <laughs> Fuck, there's, there's no effort. Literally, like, I didn't even put any effort into that. Oh, sheesh. Sheesh, sheesh. Still holding her. Come on, baby. Oh, fuck. Here we go. The mess begins, but that was easy. So now I got the view of the electrical, which we'll get to in a second. But let me, uh, let me throw this one out, and I'm going to go try that one. All right. Are you going to be as easy? Uh, not bad. Fairly easy. I don't have a very good crowbar for this. Where's it going? Oh, 
Uh, broke. All right, all right, all right. So we got a clear, pretty clear line or clear side of uh, view for the electrical and it looks pretty straightforward to me. Uh, there's a plug down there. Ooh, that one might be a fucking issue. And I'm gonna have to look into that one. That plug's gonna be. All right, that one I'll have to look into. Um, but other than that, we definitely have a decent visual of what we need to do with the electrical at this point. So we're making progress here, but I am calling it a day in uh, my world, in your world, you're gonna see me in two seconds, but cheers, let's go to the next day. Alrighty, back, electrical time. Time to get rid of the electrical here, disconnect everything, and uh, figure out how this circuit works. It's going to there, and then the rest of the plugs work. So we already disconnected the power at the panel, so there's no power here, it's time to rip this stuff out. Alrighty, electrical has been all taken off. Electrical is all out. And electrical was taken off all the way to this right here. Luckily I had this on the same circuit as all of these. So basically every wire got ripped out all the way to there. Um, that's that for now. And now it's time to measure and start cutting this down. All right, time to cut the wall down. Now, just something I'm doing here. Uh, basically, the cut is supposed to be, well, the countertop's gonna be flush right here, but if you notice my line is a little bit lower, and the reason that is, is because we're gonna compensate to cap this off with a two by four all the way on top of this. So we're cutting a little bit lower, and then there's gonna be trim that'll cover that cut line. But uh, I'll get to that in a little bit. So that's where we're at right now. It's level, the ground's not level, but this is level. All right. The drywall's out, still level. And then all the way to here. And then basically we're gonna cut these two by fours out. And if we did our calculations correctly, we can cap it with a two by four like that. And it'll be level with where the counter is going to go. Let's get at it. Two by fours are out. Uh, you're definitely going to need one of these saws. And uh, you're probably going to need a grinder as well. So some of these edges, uh, as you can see here, uh, have the uh, metal edging, right? So anyways, two by fours are out right now. Uh, next step is to knock this wall down. And these should have a seam here, even though it's invisible, there should be a seam. So as long as we cut right here, cut down here, and then cut over here, I should be able to push it over. And uh, let's see how that goes. No, not yet. Right here. All right, so we have to split these into small sections and then they come off pretty easily. All right, last step here. Everything's kind of level and the last step, obviously. I'm gonna cap this off. It's arguable whether it needs to be capped off or not, but I am gonna cap it like this with a two by four. Um, and what's gonna happen next is uh, fabricators are gonna come in. Uh, they're gonna measure it all out and uh, basically the bar top's off and the new countertop that's gonna come in is just gonna go straight out about eight inches or so, uh, eliminating the entire bar top. So that was, uh, you know what? I'm just gonna wait till the, uh, wait till the, Countertop is installed to do the final little thing here, but that's basically where I'm at. Um, so I, I will mention one thing. I did try to compensate for at least an eighth, uh, eighth of an inch of difference, just in case they need to shim. That eighth of an inch difference kind of disappeared over time and it's actually super flush. 
with where the counter is gonna go. You, can, you guys probably don't see this line here, but the counter is literally gonna rest right on top of this as if it's literally been built that way, even though I tried to compensate a little bit for some shims, but they are not likely gonna need a whole lot of shims, hopefully. So anyways, we'll see where the countertops go in and we'll go from there, cheers. There we go. It's uh, many, many, many weeks. I think it's like four weeks later that I'm recording this right now. Anyways, counters are in. Um, there are some issues with the counters, but that's a whole separate topic and I'm not gonna get into it, but let me just go over this. Um, here's what it looks like. Um, the counters are in, gorgeous quartzite. We got our overhang. And uh, this is what it looks like now. The bar top has been completely deleted. Deleted, completely gone. Uh, and I think it looks great, to be honest with you. It looks a little bit, um, how do I say it? It looks a little bit plainer, but plain in a good way. So anyways, this is what, uh, this is what it looks like. I love it. Uh, these countertops are fucking, this stone is absolutely incredible stone. Um, it is quartzite. Um, it is not quartz, and it is not granite. Um, I'll do a separate video on the quartzite, granite, and all that fun stuff. But anyways, I'm going to wrap this video up really quickly here. A uh, few things I'm going to say. Uh, what did this cost? Okay, so like I said earlier in the video, the fabricator that put these uh, countertops in, they wanted $1,500 to do it. What did it cost me? It cost me some time. But my total cost of taking this down was $17. That $17 translated to two two by fours um, to cap off the uh, studs. That's all it cost me, $17 uh, versus 1500 uh, and I saved a lot of money, period. A um, couple other things. So I, I, I mentioned at the beginning of the video what kind of tools. I, I mean, you saw through the video what tools I used. Uh, you, the biggest and most important one was the reciprocating saw. That made the job go super easy, cutting those uh, studs down. Um, other than that, a drill and, uh, and certainly the angle grinder uh, helped cut the, uh, the steel parts as well. So um, yeah, uh, one more thing I will mention. I kept emphasizing on the one eighth, um, one eighth gap that disappeared over time. And uh, I thought it was gonna be super flush with the actual countertop. But if you see here, the reality is they shimmed the crap out of it. Um, they didn't shim it because of anything I did. They shimmed it because the entire kitchen has to be really level or the entire countertop has to be level from all the way over there, all the way through here. So when they were shimming, they're shimming basically all the way over there, all the way over here, and then obviously this, and then yeah, so you can see here, there's basically like, uh, I mean, almost a half an inch uh, of a gap that uh, they needed to shim up. So yeah, nothing I did wrong at all, um, and it worked out really well. And obviously I didn't put the trim on yet, and I still got all this shit to do, and I got all my freaking, backsplash to do and fix up, but that's gonna be another video. I just wanted to do this video on how to delete a bar top. And it, uh, it looks good. Anyways, tell me what you think, what I did wrong or what I didn't do wrong or what I should have done or anything you wanna throw in the comments and do me a favor, like the video if you made it this far, subscribe and have yourself a beer, cheers.